touch the taste of hell to your lips. I've heard a lot of different stories, but the real ones kind of no fun. But I used to wear the same shirt every day. It had a big bloody red X on it. It was an Ocean Pacific shirt, and I was like in eighth grade. And that's not true. I was like eight years old. And, um, so I kept wearing the shirt every day. So they called me Dr. X. And we all had good nicknames like Turbo, uh, uh, Wild Thing, things like that. But mine was Dr. X. And it got shortened to Doc. Luckily, and my grandparents still, like my grandparents call me dog, everybody calls me dog. And we're steadily marching away, all of our yesterdays. And we're steadily marching away. This one in high school, it won, uh, won the show, but, which I thought was hilarious. MCMXCV3, 1998. Um, I don't know, religion. Is that what it means? Yeah, actually. Huh. This is, um, this is like a mask I'm wearing. That's a little stick so I can wear it. And this is insight. And then that's my manhood coming up. My manhood. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's my voice. Just kind of going nowhere. I don't know, I remember when I was doing it, I was thinking things. And I accidentally did the uh, golden ratio on it. Accidentally. And this is from when I went to Portland. It's pretty gray there. What's right in front of me? <laughs> this is a self-portrait. <laughs> My mom saw this and she hated it. She wouldn't look at it. Maybe it's because he had hair. Did this one. I guess it's a self-portrait again. This is me in my 20s carrying around a big bag of shit. So I live with my sister, and we're both like 20. Oh, we weren't both, we're not twins. And she said beer in the shower is the best. And she was right. Now I drink beer in the shower pretty much every day. Um, been an issue with some people. They think it's gross. I think it's pretty relaxing. Maybe I should take the beer cans out of the shower, but drinking in the shower is really good. Went into Walmart the other day. And I saw this lady, and uh, I said, ma'am, can you help me? I'm trying to find a pink shirt. And she said, sir, you are in the men's section. Uh, I was in Walmart the other day, and I saw this um, midget, and uh, he was sagging. And his pants were literally around his ankles. It took about 100 hours. <laughs> so the reason I did this is because I raised money for homeless people and these doors are from like the 30s from old torn down apartments for um, the poor folks and we take these put whatever on them auction them off for money and I had it for about six months I had two weeks left to finish it and uh, I was drinking and kept looking at this blank door. And then I thought, man, it's like the exact same size as a dollar bill, like proportions. And so I took a dollar bill out of my pocket. I was like trying to eyeball it. And it was very close to the proportion. 
and I thought, well, I'll just put that dollar bill on the door. So that's how it happened. Is this about me losing my flower? Stop! <laughs> what about this one? No, I better not do that. All I've got is a machine gun. You lost it. It's like a video game. <laughs> Time for your prostate exam. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> like golf clubs. I'm the caddy. <laughs>